Hey Yogi Approved viewers, welcome to workout two. We're gonna kick up the notch a little bit, a little bit more core engagement, start to add a little bit more spiral structure technique, and then by the end of our four workout series, we're gonna be doing tribal dance and cardio. So just stick to the basics. Here we're really focusing on technique, whether you're a traditional yogi or you're a seasoned bodhisattva, there's so many skills to be gained here from really focusing in on the importance of spiral structure technique. So I hope you'll join me on the mat. Knees together, belly button pull the spine, inhale, arms up. Gaze up toward those fingertips. Start to pull that right shoulder to socket. Squeeze. Imagine here that you're pulling against resistance. Almost there, two more. Switch it to the left. Take it right to left. Both elbows down, push it up. Spinal twist, left hand to right knee, really engage, lift through that core. Take right fingertips to that right oblique, circle counterclockwise. You should be able to strum those muscle fibers like a guitar string. For three, two, one, take it back to center, press those hands forward. Inhale, send that heart up, round. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Left fingertips to that left oblique, this time circling clockwise. Make sure you're feeling those muscle fibers squeeze all the way around. Work, inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Exhale, send hands to heart. Let's set an intention for this 20 minute flow. Maybe it's to get stronger, maybe it's to become more free, maybe it's just to find yourself. Send those arms all the way up. Take those arms up to the sides, right arm forward, offering. Switch it out. Both arms in. Beautiful job. Bring right hand to the outside of that right leg. Building on one of our moves from workout one. Send that left arm all the way up over the top of the head. Plant that left foot, Parigasana. If and when you're ready, start to arch that back, opening up through the chest. Send the left hand back for the left toes. Open up the chest. Slowly release that left knee. Left arm circles out. Switch right side. And start to kick it back. Open up that chest. Plant that right knee. Find your flow right to left. Just because we're flowing doesn't mean we're releasing those muscles. Keep those abs nice and engaged. So we bring it back to center. Gaze down at those knees, plant the hands. Step it back for your first chaturanga. Take it through cobra. Downward facing. Take a look at your feet, make sure your feet are hip width. We're planting the balls of the feet here. Keep the energy moving through the heels. Small pulse, we're not bending the knees. Simply releasing that low back. Speed it up. More challenging, bring that right arm out. Reach under, pull out. Plant that right palm back down here. Soften those knees, hovering just above the mat. Really open up through that upper back. 
press it back down dog. Soften the knees, step jump or hop it forward to Malasana. If you're stepping, you're gonna step right foot to the outside of the left hand, left foot to the outside of the right, drop that tailbone down. If we're hopping, you're gonna weight transfer. Land nice and light, drop that tailbone down, hands to heart. Lift that tailbone two inches here. Keep those toes planted, take it left to right. Extend that left arm. Press that right arm to the left side. Beautiful job. Open up that right arm underneath the right knee. You can either take it right here or you can reach it all the way back for the bind. The choice is yours. Just keep those toes actively pulling to the mat. Back to center circle, counter clock. Bring it to hula hands. Nice work. Weight transfer to that left foot. Right toes are coming in front. Take it low. This time, right leg swings behind, right heel up. Keep those left toes turned out. Right foot is flexed. Really work that right hamstring. Plant, roll those shoulders back. Really sink into that left leg. We want to be low. Both shoulders. Pull those elbows back. Back to your malasana. Big breath here. We're jumping away from the body, push to the floor. Three. Two, one, open it up, right side, bind it up. Left hand to heart, right arm out, push. Nice job, both arms out, hold here, almost there. Hands to the floor, press those heels out. Shake it out here. Important, our feet are staying firmly rooted to the floor and it's more like we're waddling and then trying to keep the heels to the floor. Right to left. We want our spine nice and straight so the back is parallel over that floor. Pelvis is tucked under. Right to left. Beautiful job, arms come back. Right knee to left knee. Left side lunge, pulse it low. Remember, both knees are facing forward, toes are forward. It's gonna feel awkward. I do everything intentionally. Hip. Right toes up. Point. Turn those right toes up. Slide, maybe this is as far as you can come. Maybe you can come all the way down. If you're all the way down, left foot is facing straight forward, bind it up. Remember to keep the lifting through that crown, big inhale into the belly. As you exhale, bring it back through Prasarita Padachanasana. Shake it out. Grab the outsides of the heels, pull that spine nice and straight. Top of the head toward the mat. Rise it up to goddess. Pulse it low. Left to right.
circle. Take it low, scoop right, scoop left. Take a look at your knees, make sure knees are over heels. Speed it up. Beautiful job. Right hand cartwheels underneath that right foot. Pulse. Left side. Pulse it low. Toes forward, shake it out. Core tight, flat back. Right side, one drop. Lift. Adjust to that new beat. Right side, low lunge. Hip. Left toes up, point to toe. Stay low here. Beautiful job. Take that left leg behind. Oops. Pull. Roll the shoulders back one at a time. Left foot kicks up, foot. Elbows back. Take it back to Malasana. Take a breath here. Ah. Got a tiny little baby little sprint. We're gonna roll onto the back. Tappy baby, take a big breath into the belly. When you're ready to exhale, we've got three reverse burpees. We're gonna roll forward onto the balls of the feet. Snap it up, roll it right back. Take a breath first and have a baby, roll it back. Outsides of those heels, breathe it out. Release those low hips. Take it up. Hold. Nice sprint. As a release, we're gonna cross at the ankles. Step or jump it through, chaturanga. Cobra, downward facing. <sighs> Take those right toes up. Open up the hip. We're pivoting onto the inside of the left foot. Drawing our right knee in toward the chest, left hand to heart. Hold it right here. Pulse it up. See if you can extend that right leg. Beautiful job. Turn those right toes up, three-legged dog. Step the right leg through, warrior two. Pulse those obliques right to left. Bend the right elbow. Squeeze, slow it down. Stay low on that right leg. Circle that right oblique. Rise it up. Find your flow, extended side angle, take it back. Hold it in your reverse. Cartwheel it through, take it to chair. Feet and knees together, rise it up. Circle counter. Keep those knees squeezing together. Hands to hips, find your figure eight. Keep 
chest nice and still, lifting from the heart. Right hip only, extend that left arm. Don't back off on those legs. Take it low. Beautiful job, straighten it out. Extend that right leg. Left hand's gonna come down. Flip that thumb, reach for the outside of the foot, hold it here. If and when you're ready, extend that right leg. Start to lift through the heart. Start to gaze over that right shoulder. As you exhale, take it back. Warrior two, find your oblique pulse left to right. Bend that left elbow, squeeze. Find that circle. Flow it back. Find your flow through side angle. Stay low on that left thigh. Hold it in reverse. Cartwheel it through. Take it to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, drop that tailbone, shoulders roll back. Both shoulders, same time, body lays. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. So here, while keeping the spine extended, find the belly button, move it toward the spine, activate that low core, circle counterclockwise, squeeze all the way around, massage those low abdominal organs. Forward fold, reach for opposite elbows, start to sway it out, release the head, neck, and jaw. Release hands to the floor, chaturanga. Cobra, roll it forward, shoulders back. and wide. Press that pelvis toward the mat. Open up through the shoulders. Taking it through to a child's pose push-up. Keep the hands exactly where they are. Fingertips rooted into the floor. Knees and toes stay locked into that mat. We're shifting weight forward. Elbows in. Don't let those knees or toes move. Last set, hold it forward, pulse it out with me. Look at me, you got this. Pelvic tuck, last three, two, one. Thread the needle, right arm through. If you wanna take the full bind, left hand comes behind the back, tucks into that right hip crease, pull that tailbone down to the mat. Send those arms back out, tailbone down. Draw the knees in line with the hips, all fours. Find your cat cow. Come to neutral spine here, tuck those toes under. We're hovering knees just above the mat. Tucking that pelvis up. Mm -hmm. 
Knees go out and in. Almost there. For three, two, and one. Press those knees wide, take a breath. Thread the needle, left arm through. Reach it back for that full bind. As you release, use that body control to roll all the way forward, right cheek to the mat, take a breath. Keep those hands planted into the floor. On the next exhale, bring the head and neck back to neutral. Stay here, give those shoulders a little shimmy. When you're ready, reach those hands back for the outsides of the heels. Core nice and strong here, big inhale. Exhale, rise it up. Slowly release, soft cheek to the mat. Come back to neutral, this time switch grip. Instead of grabbing the outsides of the heels, we're gonna switch, grab the insides of the arches. Draw those shoulder blades together. Core nice and strong, big inhale. Exhale, rise it up. And slowly release. Press it back onto the knees. Shake out those hips. You made it through workout two, congratulations. Workout three, we're starting to kick up that tribal dance and cardio. I'll see you on the next workout.